Okay, we're approaching the island, and it looks like we actually have a treasure here. So, uh, oh my god, Georg, you had to come just right now to spoil the mood and sail right into the island, apparently. Whatever, I'm not judging. And you can see that this island really doesn't look that spectacular from this vantage point, but this is probably one of my favorite islands in the game, actually. Or at least one of my favorite squares in the game. Actually, I don't know, it might be my one of my favorite islands, too. Oh, a harpy! Sweet! That's like five now in this recording. We're collecting those like it's orbits, man. Alright, oh my god, get in the water with the Georg. That's just suicide. Well, apparently not. Yeah, so there's literally, like, barely anything to do on this island. Like they said, it's, like the name would imply, it's shaped like a crescent moon. There's actually two blue chew jellies here, which is amazing. Uh, can I? Let's do this. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave you alive, I guess. Whatever, I don't care about you. As long as I got your chew jelly, I'm happy. Hmm, I love how he's still electro-shocking in the cutscene here. There's another treasure chart for you. That's pretty much the only purpose this island serves, is those two blue chew jellies. Which I'm pretty sure this is the only island in the game with two of those. Probably to compensate for the fact that there's not much else here. There's also this guy, though. Who will say, Ho ho, I see, I do indeed. And uh, I believe I see too, even without the telescope, that looks like a submarine and a fish out there. And I'm not sure which I'm more intrigued by, quite frankly. But um, we're going to head out. There's a lot of pots in certain... I think if you shoot those pots, you'll like, get rupees or something. But that does not interest me at the moment, so I will forego that. Mm, is Georg still here? He is. What that, that butt munch? Okay. You, Mr. Fish, I need you. Wait a second, Mr. Merman. Alright, uh, like I was saying before, though, this is probably, like, one of my favorite islands in the game because of its just super simplicity. Like, I know it doesn't really have the resplendent glory of some of the other islands, like all the greenery and beautifulness or anything, but just the sheer simplicity of it makes it more appealing to me, to my personality, because it's just calm. Like, I could just go there and lay there and just stare up at the sky, middle of the ocean, you know. You have to be careful when saying these nights when the, when the moon is full. Shit. Well, if you like pure soul freezing and horror fry, then maybe you can handle it. Yeah, I like, uh, I like Shutter Island, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't really a scary movie anyways, but... Uh, oh, there's a treasure out there, too. But uh, my treasure here is the submarine for now, so I'm not actually sure. I don't know. I don't remember these, like, submarines. I hardly remember where any of them are. I, like, normally just go onto the island and there will be a ho-ho man there who tells you about them. But, um, oh, it's a mini blin. Okay. Is this all I have to do for my treasure? I can't believe I even got hit by it. There was only one mini blin and I got hit by it. Great. Uh-oh, I think I... Yeah, oh, frick frack. No! No, I triggered. It's the rapture, man. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? This kind of nasty treatment. Oh, well, this at least will be a lot of drops, I guess. But basically, the idea here is, like, I rec I realized what was happening the second I killed that first one and the torch lit up. Basically, the idea here is that you got to kill enough of these to light up all four torches in the four corners. And on then and only then will you unlock the Master Sword or a maybe a treasure chart. I don't know. Probably more likely a treasure chart. Uh, dude, don't stab me. You're the only one here. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I was doing a good job of dodging most of those, and then when it was just one left, I got hit by him. Great. If you just use spin attacks, though, like you can probably hear me waggling my control stick left and right. Well, not left and right, but in circles. Constant circles. Alright, shit! Oh my god, there's still so many of them! And they're running along the walls and the ceiling and I don't know what's going on anymore! Oh shit, you had to do that, you jackass. Yeah, I'm not even gonna kill you. I'm just gonna let you fly over there and dance your little balls off. God, that's an annoying sound. That's something that just gets more annoying with time. Like, the first time I played this game, I didn't really mind mini blends too much. And now, they're just like, the most demonic both literally and figuratively, the most demonic uh, creatures in this entire game to me. All right, at least we got these little fireflies to kind of cleanse the mood and the little flowers. I guess they expected that you would be so freaking enraged by the mini blends that you need that bit of peace of mind. 
anyhow. So that should be just about it for this square. So say goodbye to this square forever. And next we want to head, I believe, actually, uh, oh, I did get the merman. I always forget. Uh, Seven Star Isles is right to the east of here, and that's our next destination. So meet you there, fucks. I mean, folks. I would never call you guys fucks. That's just mean. Okay, before I do anything in the square, I'm actually going to open up that treasure chart that I just got at the submarine. Because I'm really paranoid about that. Okay, Horseshoe. Horseshoe Island, sweet. And uh, now, this island is kind of weird. Because it's, it's not exactly one island. It's more just a bunch of pillars that you can't stand on sticking out of the ocean. So it's virtually a worthless island. But don't pass that off as completely useless in terms of the actual quadrant. Because this sector actually has quite a bit to it, if you look more into it. I think there's like three platforms and a big octo here. Sweet. Yeah, but this is Seven Star Isles for all its great glory. If you see seagulls flying all around some seawaters, that's a sign that you need to beware, fry. Because the seagulls flock to wherever big octos appear. Big octos? Alright, big gulps. Well, see you later. Oh my god, big octos! <laughs> Good god. And with that, I'm off, yeah? Yeah, so that's supposed to be your clue, I guess, that there is, in fact, a big octo in this square. And normally, uh... Normally the way I tackle a square, there's really nothing here. I think there's, like, a cargo rock flying around or something. The lone cargo rock. But the way I don't tend to do this... Actually, there might be multiple cargo rocks, I can't really tell. But I head out to these platforms over here, first thing. And then once I'm finished with the platforms, uh, I use my telescope to scope out the big octo's location. So, and, uh, that's the way I'm going to do it in this LP. That's all the way I've always done it before, and probably the way I'm going to do it for the rest of my life, quite frankly. Though I don't know about the sailing directly into the wind thing. This is kind of annoying. Okay, despite the blatant lack of cannons at these three platforms... I just, I think I remember these being kind of brutal platforms, and I don't remember what's on them exactly. I guess we're about to find out now, but, uh, and it looks like we don't need the deco leaf to transit between them like we did with that other set of three. We can probably just hop between them here. Let's see what's up here, bro. Mm. No! No! <laughs> Crap! Oh, God. Well, at least this wizard is groundbound, so I can deal with him appropriately. All right, yeah. Yeah, I definitely remember this platform now. Oh, God. I think there's actually, like, three different waves of whiz robes. And if you kill, like, all three of them, you get three different chests to appear. Yeah, here's the second one. I think that for, the like, the first two waves, though, it's only, like, one whiz robe each. But uh, for the last wave, I'm pretty sure it's, like, two or three whiz robes. So it could get a little bit hairy here. Mm, come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh, God, he almost spouted fire in my face. Get your fire out of my face. Out of my face? <laughs> sure, why not? Whiz robe? Let's see. Where's the last ones? Yeah, here we go. And, oh, there's one up in the air. Shit. Oh, God, am I going to be able to deal with him? I don't know if I am for sure, but I'm going to try. Never give up. Trust your instincts, as one brave hare said. At some point in his life. Oh, shit. No, you die! Yes, okay, he's done. Now for this guy. How am I gonna go about this? I'm not sure I can do this. What is that? I, I swear I saw, like, a beam of light sticking out of the ocean for a second, but it was, like, way higher than the normal treasure beams. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hmm. Well, I think my only means of attack, really, is bombs. I don't know how I'm going to still do this. This is going to be a miracle if I can actually pull this off. I'm pretty sure this is impossible, because we all know how, how it worked last time when I tried to defeat a wizard with bombs, but we'll see. Oh, man, it exploded way far beneath me, man. Right, you got to get out the bombs early. Oh, here he is. Go, go, go. Ooh, shit. Oh, that blew me up. 
There you are. You butt munch. Oh, I can't reach you from here. Shit! <laughs> I keep doing that. Good lord. Yes! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, I did it! I didn't think I was going to be able to. That's awesome! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, I feel like I just sequence broke this fucking place. Awesome, dude. Awesome. God, I love that. I love being able to pull off awesome things like that in video games. It just makes me feel so accomplished. And you get a treasure chart on top of that all. Yeah, I earned that treasure chart, man. If I can say I earned any treasure chart in this entire game, that's the one right there. Because normally you need the bow to take out those guys, but I persevered and got the treasure chart for Tingle Island there. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. And I guess we'll see what these uh, more minuscule chests hide. Yeah, 20 rupees. God, man, I'm still in like an adrenaline high from like fighting that guy and killing him. It was awesome. Oh my god. I was seriously thinking about just giving up, but I don't know. I guess I wasn't at that for too long, really. Anyways, try, time to get off my high horse here and uh, focus on what's important, which is finding that big octo. So let me get at that now. Let's see. Yes!